Hey, Trace, how are we all doing? Look, I, I'd like to keep it short and concise. I know everyone's got, you know, busy schedules and whatnot, but I've got a few things to go over. So this might be more than one minute. It's probably going to be around three minutes. So we've got the Aussie doll. This is bullish. Um, I see this definitely going to um, the stop loss here. The stop loss is set at 77.50 pretty much, or 77.499. It's two seconds. And look, yeah. No more, not much more to say, but anything can happen in Forex. So I'm going to let this go. The rules are the rules. In backtesting, I don't interfere with the trade, so I'm not going to interfere with this trade. So that's that's final, really. You know, I'm not uh, interested. Let's have a look at the New Zealand dollar. And then Mr. Connor, uh, my trading buddy, he has pointed a few things out. No. So I drew this trend line in, and it's collapsed as well. So that that's a big no trade. So... Kind of had a few things. Um, what was he? God, I've got so many messages. Everyone's. I really appreciate uh, you know Twitter messages and everything like that, guys. Uh, I'll continue to be a, a transparent trader as well. All right, Aussie CAD, Aussie CAD. Let's check that out. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Hopefully, this is on here. It should be. It should be. Everyone's having a fantastic day as well. I was good. Oh, nice. Oh, uh, okay. On the daily. What is that? That's a 20 day. Right, we'll delete that. This is good. So, this is how I approach it, guys. We've got. Uh, Bill Williams. We don't want Bill Williams. Trends. Bollinger Bands. 20. We want to see some expansion as well. That's a twenty. Uh, that's a two standard deviation as well. I want to see a break there. We want to see that going downwards, that upwards. I mean, it's not it's not ideal, but <clears throat> now we want a fifty five day moving average. Well, two hundred in red. That works. And then we want the fifty five day over the two hundred, which I would say it probably will be doing that. Uh, 55. What color would be good? What about like a like a lawn green? Can I even see that? That was a shitty color choice. <laughs> what about like a purple, dark dark violet? Okay, so as you can see, um, look, the problem with this though is the stop loss is going to be down. It's going to be down here. So it's down on the 55 day moving average, and we'll make that red. And we'll make the entry. I mean, that's actually not too bad uh, at all. How's the alley looking? Oh, yeah, the alley is looking ripe like a sweet treat. It's already three minutes, guys. I apologize, but this is chart analysis. You know, this is life. And you've got to be willing to put a bit of work in. I've had a busy day, had athletics training, I've just had dinner, you know, quickly. And look, I mean, around that high there would be, would be a decent. Entry level, to be fair, will make this magenta. So let's see the pips there, guys. Minimum of a 1R, really. So we're looking at 108, 108 pips. So the entry is 98.7. So 99.7 would be uh, what we'd be chasing, So which is above here. Interesting. I mean, it's worth watching. If we zoom out, there is a little bit of resistance there, though. Kind of mentioned that. What else was he talking about? I've got a bad habit of not scanning uh, all, you know, not all the pairs, but I miss quite a lot. Uh, the Euro Czar. What's the Czar? I don't even know. I'll avoid that. The uh, spread will be enormous on that. Euro Yen. Let's check out the Euro Yen. I might sip this cold brew. Hunt and Brew, Honduras something flavor. Really good from Coles on special. That's not paid sponsorship. I wish they did sponsor me. That would be really, that would be pretty sweet. Um, I should hook them up actually, shouldn't I, with a message or something. You're again, sorry guys, I've got a bit of sun today as well. It's, you know, you have your days off, but it's pre-Christmas, so you're rushing around. You don't, well, I wasn't rushing around Christmas shopping because that's all done online. but 
you know, I was still driving around and dealing with the bullshit. Okay, you're a yen. Was it? You're a yen. Cool. I mean, it's. Wow, whoever trades this, I mean, hell yeah. <laughs> like, you know, up, down, up, down, up, down. Um, the problem with that is it's a little too choppy. You know, I'm not even going to answer in to that, unfortunately. That's a little too. Yeah, there's a lot of well established resistance there. So we'll go back to the. Ozcad. Ozcad. Ozcad, Ozcad, Ozcad. This one's not too bad. I mean, there is there is resistance, yes, but if we can close above here, and there's more there, but <clears throat> it's not perfect. There are no perfect setups right now, guys. Okay, so I want I want that to be pretty clear. Uh, and the we'll finish on the Aussie dollar. This is my sell trade. I don't run away from trades that aren't going the best, and this would definitely fall into that category. It's uh, more than fifty percent towards a stop loss. There it is up there. Um, I reckon this will probably happen around near Christmas time at the end of the week. So it'll be a nice little Christmas present for me. A little coal in the stocking. But I mean, look, losing is a part of the game, I'm realizing. And the really successful traders who trade the trends are, you know, able to take some losses and take some pain. So, well, not pain. I mean, it's just a part of the game. You know, you shouldn't really be, if this was like 300, if that was $680, then I'd be like, you know, that's shitty. That's bad. But it's not the end of the world. So, uh, just to recap, guys, odd cad and euro yen are, you know, potentials, but B grade trades. They're not fantastic. All right. Oh, Aussie yen, Aussie, Aussie yen, Aussie yen. This one also has a bit of resistance too. But, you know, so, so does the Aussie cad. Uh, that's the, oh, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's put some indicators on here, guys. It's still a rehash, so indicators, and I go and I do trends, I do Bollinger Bands. Oh, shoot, damn, that's, when it does that, that's pretty good. I mean, there is resistance, but no trade normally is ever just going to go whoosh, you know, straight to your target. I mean, I wish that could be the case, but it, it's not really... Yeah, and that's very rare that it that does do that. Uh, moving averages fifty five. Then we want to see where the two hundred day is. We want to see where that two hundred day is. Next video will be a stock trading watch list as well, guys, for my stock trading fans. I think uh, I get more views on that than forex, but I learned the art of trading. Because it's more an art than a science from Forex stuff, guys. It's pure. It's Is there manipulation? Yes, there is. But as you can see, I have really wide stop losses and I'm patient. Something I'm not particularly with the stocks, but the stocks are a little bit different with catalysts. And, you know, I trade the one-minute charts. So different part of the brain is activated when you're doing the one-minute charts. Uh, oh, it is. Yeah, it is. So we would have the stop loss down here I might I might put an entry in on this one this one is uh, it's ticking the boxes minus you know is it clear resistance and it's pretty close to that entry too I'm gonna wait for that candle to close and I'll assess things guys possible entry at 86 84 stop loss down at 85 89 guys I'm gonna wrap things up apologies for how long it took and I hope everyone has a great session happy trading bye for now